The target area commute on May 31, 2013 was a grim reminder of the potential destruction a volatile atmosphere can unleash. Just 11 days prior, a killer EF-5 tornado ended the lives of 23 people, injured almost 400 and destroyed over 12,000 homes as it ripped a mile-wide path through Moore, Oklahoma. No one would have imagined that this day would see a tornado more than twice that size. Here we are positioned on the dry line just west of El Reno, Oklahoma, awaiting initiation. Earlier this morning, the Storm Prediction Center issued a loaded gun warning for Oklahoma City and surrounding area. Oh man, that was a jump. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Mother Nature was showing her teeth, and unlike this female bull snake, it was not a compelling bluff. They are hot tempered. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This grumpy girl is just eager to get to her underground shelter where she and her belly full of eggs can help the local farmers control the rodent populations. Whoa, hey. <laughs> All right. We'll let, we're going to let her go. At 4.37 p.m., three small cells sprung up on radar and 12 minutes later achieved severe status. Here we are keeping an eye on all three bases that eventually join forces to become one organized storm. We were headed south a few miles to get a better view of the storm, but had to stop and help a panicked snapping turtle sitting in the road. The storm had hardly moved, but was intensifying fast, and by 538, the brilliant minds at the Storm Prediction Center issued a tornado warning. Now we are about to witness the birth of a record-breaking tornado that will eventually grow to over two and a half miles wide. goes. Look at that. Jesus. Man. Alright, this is going to get really ugly really fast here. Stop and take some pictures. The multiple vortex tornado was moving faster now, growing in size, and while tailgating a line of other vehicles, I calculated a direct hit. So I whipped the car around and headed back west. We're going sideways, and there's a tornado next to me. People are gonna die today. It might be me. That's a massive tornado right there. Wrap and rain. Here we're blasting east, trying to catch up to the monster, which is now making a hard left turn. But had to stop and help a panicked woman standing in the road. It's so good. I can borrow my house. It's over by the airport. My husband is there. I'm here babysitting my grandkids. Yep, I sure do. Uh, What's your phone number? It's 918. Uh, hold on. Here we call it. Hang on. No. You're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. 
918. 918. This clip reveals man's best friend's internal struggle between loyalty and self-preservation. Get into shelter. Do you have shelter here? Uh, we've got a, a base, a, 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 a storm cellar with no door on the it. The worst is past. Get in it. Your phone isn't working. Oh my god. You're, everything's fine. The house is right across the street from the airport. It's my house. It, it happened right, right next to you. It's, you're fine. Okay. Well, their phone is ringing, so. Here, I gotta roll up the window because okay. the gear's getting. At this point, the tornado is at peak width, a 2.6 mile wide EF5, the widest tornado ever recorded. From my perspective, that appeared to be the end of the tornado's life. However, several other areas of strong rotation are now evident on radar, including a massive circulation complete with an eye entering Oklahoma City. Which is south of the Mustang area out there and runs over by the airport. That is a, just a traffic jam there right now. All right. This thing's heading right for Oklahoma City. It's 645 and I'm not going to follow it into Oklahoma City and get stuck. Uh, there's another rapid rotation right behind this one. So Oklahoma City right now is under the gun twice and it could get hammered twice just south of the city, close by where, where the last tornado went through more. All right, I've been in this line. It goes on forever. We're moving at three and a half miles per hour, escaping the tornado. The tornado is moving 35 miles per hour, and we are going three and a half miles per hour, escaping. Many people's lives and homes were turned upside down by these tornadoes.